Yo, it's your man Cody here. About to attempt the Randy Santel $20 value menu challenge at Taco Bell. So I got a lot of tacos and burritos in front of me, a lot of sauce. I got three things of those Cinnabon Delights. Each one was a dollar. I got five spicy potato soft tacos, five grande chicken tacos, five grande taco burritos, two cheesy bean with rice burritos. Comes out to 22 bucks. So, about to begin a new minute. I think I gotta do it all in 25 minutes. I'm not gonna try to eat super fast. I'm gonna eat pretty fast, but not like top speed because there's a lot of food and I have a feeling I'll probably barf if I try doing that. But we're about to begin any minute. So, one, two, three. Okay guys, so here during the challenge, I'm thinking about, ooh, this is going to be pretty dang hard. Those grande burritos were a bad decision. I asked the lady, I said, are the grande burritos like normal sized burritos? She goes, yeah, I'd say so. But they seem pretty big when you're considering that 
I ate 15 of those tacos and burritos. Right now, how many do I have left? I got uh, five left. So that means I ate 12 because there were 17 on there. So a lot of mate, a lot of Taco Bell. The entire time I was thinking to myself, I was like, hmm, Taco Bell. Good for the first five minutes, but then it starts tasting like, I guess, really good cat food. But I've never ate cat food before, but that's what I can imagine taste. The spicy potato tacos were really good. They're the best out of them. And then those loaded grande burritos that got beef in them really good. But the ones I didn't like were like the chili, cheese, chicken, and rice ones. Those ones those ones started getting gross. Those were the ones that tasted like cat food, I imagine. So, I'm 17 minutes into the challenge, and I have two Cinnabon Delights and four burritos left. And I'm getting a fool, I'm not going to lie, but what's starting to kill me is the cold tortilla taste. A lot of those burritos did not seem like they had much filling in them, it just felt like I was just chewing cold burrito shell. For this challenge, I'm definitely 
gonna do it faster next time. This time I was just trying to eat to see if my capacity would keep up with me because I've never ate anything close to this at Taco Bell, so I had no baseline. You know, it's nice going into a challenge with a baseline. For the next time I do this challenge, I'm going to go full-blown speed. Don't be too discouraged because my next video is going to be like a new series that I'm doing with another YouTuber. He's the one who created it, and it's a super cool idea. So stay tuned for that. And then I think I'm going to do another one of these Randy Santel value menu challenges. I'm eyeing White Castle, but I'm not for sure just yet. So stay tuned. Hey, guys. So I couldn't eat all that in 25 minutes. I just had these two burritos left. In Randy's video, he actually did it in like 27, 58 seconds. I thought he did it in 25, but I was wrong. I was gonna go for 25 minutes, so there's no point in me to keep on eating. I could probably get these two down, but it'd be a freaking struggle. Flavor's just killing me. I'm gonna have to reattempt this challenge because I know I can beat it, I got this close. I just gotta prepare better. I need some different drinks. This code red and this Dr. Pepper started, uh, and the, and the tacos started getting my taste buds messed up. I'm going to do a shout out to my friend Cameron Grace. There will be a link in the description below to her channel. If you want to give her a subscribe or check her out, go ahead and do it. She needs it, I guess. I'm kind of not even thinking straight right now. Oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to me because I'm really close to that 250 milestone that's what I'm trying to get to so I can I'm going to drop a crazy video when I hit that landmark make sure you like make sure you share until next time man Cody is out